Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send data to Azure IoT Hub using C Sharp SDK and the Raspberry Pi. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Kudzai and I regularly publish Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 tutorials on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to get them as they come out. So here I've got my Raspberry Pi connected to power and on my network via the Ethernet cable. And then here I've got a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. So I'm going to build an application that reads the sensor data and then use the device client library to send that data to the IoT Hub. But first of all, let's head over to our IoT Hub in Azure portal and register our Raspberry Pi device. Okay, so I'm in my Azure portal. So the first thing that I need to do here is to go to resource groups. And then I'll click on my resource group name to drill into the contents. So since I've already got my Azure IoT Hub created, I'll click on it. And then now I need to register my device under this IoT Hub. And to do that, I'll scroll down to IoT devices here. I'll click it. And then after that, I'll click on the new button here. Okay, so I'm going to give my device a name. And then I'll leave the authentication type selected as symmetric key. And then I'll let the Azure IoT auto-generate the primary and secondary keys. And then here I'll make sure that the connect this device to an IoT hub option is enabled. And then I'll go ahead and click save. Okay, so we've successfully registered our Raspberry Pi. Now to get the connection details, I'll click on the device. So here I'll copy my primary connection string. And when that is done, we can head over to Visual Studio to start building the IoT app for sending data to my Azure IoT Hub using the device SDK. Okay, now I'll go ahead and start my Visual Studio. And then here I'll click on create a new project. Now, since I'm building this app for the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to select a C Sharp Universal Windows Platform app. And then I'll click on next. And then I'll give my project a name. And then I'll go ahead and create the project. And then here I'll select OK for the default target versions. OK, so my project has been successfully created. Now the first thing that I need to do is to add extensions to this application that would enable me to access the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi in order to read my temperature and humidity sensor data. And to do that, I'll right click on references, add reference, and then under universal windows, I'll go to extensions, and then I'll select Windows IoT extensions for the UWP, and then I'll click OK. OK, that's done. Now the next thing that I need to do is to go to my main page.xaml and expand it. And then I'll click on the main page.xaml.csharp file. Now this is the main file that runs when our Raspberry Pi boots. So this is where we're going to put our code for reading the temperature and humidity sensor data and also the code to send that telemetry data to the Azure IoT Hub. Now, before we get to the part of sending our telemetry data to the Azure IoT Hub using our device client library, we're first going to use a library that will enable us to read the temperature and humidity sensor data from our DHT11 sensor. And to do that, I'm going to be using a package. So I'll right click on my solution and then I'll go to manage NuGet packages.
and then I'll select the browse tab and then here I will type DHT and then I'll select this package here and then here I will select my project and then I'll click on the install button and then here I'll click OK okay now our package for reading the temperature and humidity sensor data has been successfully installed now let's go ahead and put the code for reading our temperature and humidity sensor data from the dht11 sensor so i'll click on my main page sysharp file again first of all i'll add the assembly reference for my dht11 temperature sensor and then after that, I'll put my assembly reference for accessing the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. And then here inside my class, I'll add this code, which is the DHT11 communication variables. So first here, we're actually initializing the pin number, which is the actual pin number on the Raspberry Pi board on which the DHT11 sensor is connected to. And then here we're creating an instance of the DHT11 sensor. And then here we're creating an instance of our GPIO pin. Now, when our IoT application is first powered up, it will run this initialization method here. So this is where I'm going to put my initialization for the DHT11 sensor and the GPIO pin. So these statements here, they initialize pin number four as an input pin. Now, because we want to be able to read the sensor data in intervals of five seconds, what I'll do is I'll add an initialization for the dispatch timer. And then I'll start my timer in the initialization method here. And then I'll set my timer to tick after every five seconds. And then from there, I'll add my timer event handler method which is the method that runs after every five seconds. And then I'll also add a method for doing the actual reading, which is the read sensor method. And then we'll call this method from our sensor timer method. And then we have to make sure that our variables for storing the temperature and humidity are declared. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to be able to send that data to the Azure IoT Hub using our IoT Hub device ST. And to do that, I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer and right click, go to Manage NuGet Packages, and then I'll put the name of my device client library which is this one that says device SDK for Azure IoT Hub. And then I'll click install. Then I'll click OK. Accept. OK, so we've successfully installed our device SDK for Azure IoT Hub. Now let's go back to our main page to C -sharp file and start putting together the code for sending our sensor data to the Azure IoT Hub. So here, the first thing that I need to do is to add an assembly reference for my devices library. And because we are going to be sending our telemetry data as a JSON object, we need to add an assembly reference that will allow us to do that, which is the newtonsoft.json. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to add a declaration of our Raspberry Pi as a device client. So this first statement here instantiates a new device client and then here we're declaring a string variable that will hold our IoT Hub URI and then here we're declaring a variable that will hold our device key. So where do we get our IoT Hub URI and the device key? We go to our device primary key that we copied earlier on our Azure portal. 
Now this section here up to here is the IoT Hub URI. So we're going to copy that. And then we put it here. And then this section here is our device key. So we're going to copy that here. Okay, and then the next thing that we need to do is to initialize our device client. So we'll go to our initialization method here. And then I'll copy this statement. So here we're creating a new device client using our IoT Hub URI. And then we're also passing the device key. And then we're setting the MQTT as the transport protocol. Now here we need to put the name of the device. So we go to our primary connection string again, and then we copy the device ID. And then we put it there. So we've got our statement for creating our device client. Okay, now let's go on and start putting together our telemetry data object. To do that, we go to our sensor timer method. And then here, I'll paste this code. So here, essentially, I'm creating a new JSON object. And then here, under device ID, it doesn't have to be the same device ID as the one that is on your IoT Hub. This is application specific. So you can make it as user friendly as possible. So if it's a device that is in your packing line, you can call it packing line. And then here we're putting the sensor temperature into a variable called temperature. And we're putting our sensor humidity into a variable called humidity. And then we're getting the current date and time. And then we're putting it into a variable called date. And then we're putting all of this into a variable called the telemetry data point. And then next, we're going to convert the telemetry data point variable into a JSON string. So in this statement, we're creating a new message string, and then we're converting the telemetry data point and storing the result into the message string. And then here, we're setting the ASCII as the encoding for our message string. And then finally, we use a device client library method to send our message. And then we must make our method asynchronous. Okay, so we've successfully created our project for reading sensor data and sending it to Azure IoT Hub. But now we need to see that happen in action. So the next thing that we need to do is to deploy this code onto our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now before we deploy, we need to check to see if our Raspberry Pi is online. And if it is, what is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi? And to do that, we're going to pull up our IoT code dashboard. Okay, now we see we've got our Raspberry Pi 3 online. And the IP address is 192.168.1.107. Okay, the next step is to change our target processor. So we're going to select ARM, which is for our Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then we go to the device here. We select remote machine. And then here we can put the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then we click select. Okay, when that is done, we can go ahead and click on Remote Machine to begin deploying our application to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so our application has been successfully deployed and it is running. 
it is running now how do we know that our application is successfully sending our messages to the azure iot hub the quickest way to do that is to use the iot hub device explorer so i'm going to open my device explorer here okay now we need to supply the connection string for our iot hub so we go back to our azure portal and then I'll click on this IoT Hub, which is where I created my IoT devices. And then under my Azure course IoT Hub, I'll click on Shared Access Policies. And then under the policy here, I'll select IoT Hub Owner, which is a policy that allows us to read and write to the IoT Hub. And then I'll copy the primary key connection string here and then I'll paste that on my device explorer click on it okay so we've successfully connected to our Azure IoT Hub now let's go to our management tab so as you can see the management tab will automatically list the devices that are configured under our IoT Hub so to see if that device is currently sending data to the Azure IoT Hub, we'll go to the Data tab and then we'll click on the Monitor button. And as you can see here, our Raspberry Pi is actually sending data to the Azure IoT Hub successfully. So if you found this video useful, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more IoT videos like this as they come out.